Magalan. Home to a civilization of millions. Until the comet hit. Earthquakes shattered its cities. Firestorms swept the planet. And as Magalan fell into darkness, the survivors faced a world that was unrecognizable. Fighting amongst the ruins of the old world, new factions arose. The Berserkers. The Clerics. The Outlaws, each with their own vision of the future. But it wasn't only the struggle for scarce old world resources that drove them, for the Comet had bought something new. Elix, an element unknown to Magellan. It could fuel technology, change the evolution of life, open new abilities to those with the will to control it. For the clerics, it drove new technological innovation. For the outlaws, drugs to free their minds. To berserkers, it gave the power of magic. Seduced by Elix's power, some began to consume it. Addicted, overwhelmed, most degenerated into vicious, mindless mutants. But there were some who could control their addiction. To them, at the cost of their emotions, Elix offered strength, focus, and stamina. These people called themselves the Albs. Seemingly unstoppable, the Albs have waged war on all who will stand between them and their need to obtain Elix. Advancing from the frozen wastes of Zaykor and their fortress ice palace, the Alves threatened the future of all the factions on Magellan. Now, as Alb forces prepare their final assault, Jax, renowned Alb commander, is sent on a solo mission. One Alb selected to change the fate of Magellan. whoop de doo going on a solo mission. It's nice to be able to catch my thoughts. You know, all along, me and the ship. What could possibly go wrong? All systems green, everything is nominal. Nobody's going to shoot me down. Unless it's a bird strike. Oh my god, it's a bird strike. You know what? Looking back, maybe I should have packed a parachute. Yep, all good. Still here. Maybe I broke something. Or more than something. Nope, all good. A little bit shaken. Now to figure out where I am. Oh, that way looks good. Towards the sunset. Forget about this heavy thing. I don't need it anymore. Alright. Location, location, location. Where am I? Jax, you've failed your mission. Uh, no, I haven't. You know our directive. I do? There can be only one consequence for failure. I am weakened and I have forgotten much. Oh, no, 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 no. Guys, come on. We can talk about this. I mean, we're, we're all the same. We're on the same... Oh, ouch. <laughs> that hurt. More than the crash. It hurt my feelings. You guys would turn on me. Hello there. A little help, please? Yeah, I kind of took one in in my stomach or probably somewhere. It hurts everywhere. Oh, you bastards. You stole my gear. At least I got away with my life. That's gotta mean something.
Well, you know what I say, if it doesn't kill you, it definitely leaves a scar or two. Or who knows what else I broke in that uh, fall. Alright, so I didn't get a chance to see where I was. I gotta get my bearings a little bit here. At least I can move alright. That's something. I should be dead. But I'm not. I better move before they come back to finish the job. And I better find a weapon. That sounds like a very smart thing to do. Well, I think the guys who shot me kind of left me for dead. So I don't think uh, I have to worry about them. But whomever scavenged my gear did a really thorough job. What's up with these arrows? They're stuck in the street. Who shot them? From up there? Nah. Looks like somebody was playing target practice here. Alright. Well, I suppose we are down to basics here. So I'm going to have to look around. Poison leaf. Hello there. Wonder what I can do with that. Not that I would remember. I think I took a blow to the head there, so I kinda don't remember much. I'll have to re-examine myself. Maybe go see a doctor. That looks like it's valuable. Small healing plant. You know what? If there's something that I've learned recently is that I should come better prepared. So, yeah. Parachutes and whatnot? Definitely bringing some with me next time. I'm not really the kind to go down with the ship, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's see if I can get over this one. There we go. Yet another I obstacle. Been here for days, the Elix is gone from my system. I feel weak. Think. Think, Jax. My weapons. My armor. Did Kallax take them? No. No. If Kallax had seen I was still alive, he would have finished the job. It was someone else. This is Zidane. Enemy territory. If Kallax returns, or if the Berserkers find me, I'll be dead for sure. Well, to be honest, without that Elix stuff, I got a little bit of color in my cheeks. That can't be a bad thing. You know what? Let's uh, just count our blessings here. And be grateful of new beginnings. Another chance. Another life. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to find those guys who took my stuff. They're probably long gone. Uh oh. That sounds dangerous. If it's growling, it's definitely dangerous. Alright. I'm not exactly in the best. Uh... Oh! No. Uh, it's just a rat. Well, I say it's just a rat, but maybe it's even more than just a rat. It's a sick rat. Okay. Doesn't look like it's going to hit me back. Okay. Maybe I can use this rat for a little bit of melee practice. Okay. I think I'm starting to remember what it's like to have a melee weapon in my hand. The only issue is that I get tired very quickly. So I need to be careful. Maybe I could find something useful in there. Sure. Ah, uh, but first, what's up with this? My skin. I look like one of the free people. There mustn't be a scrap of Elix left in my body. Like I said, that may not be such a bad thing after all. Looking a little bit healthier there. Well, all things considered, you know. 
Okay, a healing potion will certainly come in handy. Oh, what is this? Corny, you three. You three, one of my crony units. It looks like it took a lot of damage in the crash. That's unsalvageable. I'm wondering where crony U4 is. If it's still active, then I might find it here in a den. Finding that drone would be helpful. Okay. It looks like I need to keep an eye out for Corny. Crony. No, no, I, did I say Corny? <laughs> I probably did take a blow to my head. Or several. And a gunshot to my stomach. Or my kidney. Or my liver. Or all of them. Uh, right. Maybe it's a good idea to look around, you know, look for equipment, scavenge. But I don't suppose there's much to be found in these old ruins. Okay, where the hell am I going? Is this going back to where I got shot? Hello there. Oh, I don't think it's very friendly. Maybe I shouldn't look for a fight, you know what I mean? Alright, so... I see. Um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, whatever that thing was, I think it went that way. Let's see if I can find something uh, to scavenge until it comes back. Elex! Yeah, nasty stuff. Oh, I found an amulet of adventuring. Perfect. Hello there. Bye bye. <laughs> Were you looking for a fight? I don't think so. I am letting you leave, uh, live. That's exactly right. I am not running away. I am granting you your life. I am merciful that way. I am feeling in a, um, you know, good mood. Okay, maybe I should go and check this ruins out. Find uh, that uh, corny U4, which I'm totally calling corny, not crony, <laughs> for uh, el fun reasons. Oh, okay, electronic scrap. I have no idea what I can do with that. Cultivator bow. You know what? It's not a bad idea to fight at range, especially with all these arrows I keep finding. Iron ore. Maybe I can craft something with that if I learn how. And this place is a mess. Okay, so what do we have here? Casket. I wonder if it contains something. Small yellow gemstone. What I can do with that? A mug. Okay, not very interesting. Tape. Tape is always good. There's a million applications for it. Alright. I have no idea who left that wine there. They definitely didn't do a good Rotting job. technology from the old world. That's all that's here. I'd better move on. I don't know. Before I move on, I should uh, do a thorough job looking around. Better than the last guys who came through here. It's a bunch of rats. Whoa! Okay, is this going to be as passive as the... Well, no, it kind of looked like it wanted to attack me. I should be more careful. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? Whoa! I had the feeling it was going to attack me there. Is it? It isn't, alright. Man, I run out of stamina super quickly. Okay. Well, 
very luckily, I would say, this rat isn't very aggressive. Because otherwise, I don't think I could have survived that encounter. At least not right now. No, okay, so more of this. Oh, oh, what is this? A lockpick? Come here, you little friend. Oh, looks like I can sit uh, in these chairs. Probably not a good time for it, though. A map piece. Okay. Alright. Uh, not very explicit map, I would say. I have no idea what to make of this. A small healing potion. Shotgun shells. All oh, right, firearms. Um, how do I equip that bow I found earlier? Cultivator bow. All right. Um, okay. Got to figure out a little inventory management, but I think it's important. Oh, yeah, this adventurous amulet that I found earlier. Lockpicking plus one and a little bit of armor. Super. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Small healing potions. I should probably keep these at hand because I'll need them. Mm, okay, I got a little bit of food which is uh, going to help me regenerate life a little bit. Although I didn't really get into a fight yet, so... I'm fine for now. For now. Famous last words. Oh, we got more rats. Okay, so I I can get some loot from these rats, like bones. Maybe I can make some lockpicks or whatnot. Okay, we got a small mana potion oil lamp. Which is sadly broken. Maybe I can fix it up and, you know, it, it could come in handy in dark places. And so, the hunt begins. I'm here in enemy territory. What was Kallax doing here so far from Zaycor? If I want answers, I need to find him. And, for that, I'll need weapons and equipment. I have the feeling that Kallax came after me. He, sem he seemed pretty hell-bent on finding me. Probably too convenient. I mean, somebody shut me down. I do suspect it could have been a in inside job. Well, at least it's on my list of suspicion. Oh yeah. Take a sit, look at the sun. Smoke a cigarette. That's, somebody's uh, camped out here. Maybe I can... Oh, perfect. Yep, there we go. Just gotta find my way out of these ruins and... Maybe I should track down the people with my equipment. Evacuation sequence initiated. Wait, what? Remain calm and proceed to the indicated exits immediately. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of Follow panicking. Follow all instructions from service personnel. Thank you for your visit to the observatory. Did you say observatory? Maybe I misheard that. Maybe it is, I don't know. Well, I'm surprised it still works. Finally some luck. The guy that took my armor must have dropped it. Now, all I need to do is find a way out, cross kilometers of enemy territory, and find out why my brother tried to kill me. What could go wrong? Ah, uh, my brother from another mother, probably. All right, so I got my jetpack. Hopefully I can make good use of this. Let's give it a try. Oh, whoa, that is very cool. And very useful. Just think of all the loot I'll have access to now. Nice. Okay, I have found some worker pants, basic work trousers. Okay, so nothing fancy, but you know what? Every little bit helps, I suppose. 
not exactly as fancy as my previous armor, but you know what? I'll take it. Worker pants. Work our way up. <laughs> Worker pants to work our way up. Perfect. Toilet paper. You know what? Where you gotta go? Better have some of that. There we go. And some cigarettes. Maybe I can trade those. For information about my uh, other gear. Metal scrap. Uh, you know what would be useful? Like a flashlight or whatnot. I don't suppose my jetpack comes with one. Probably not. Alright. <coughs> they call me Mr. Exterminator. You better remember it oh more iron ore Edan, the land of the berserkers if they recognize me they could finish Kallax's job for him all right well so I suppose that berserkers and Alps don't really kiss oh so I, I do have some torches all right that's cool let me give it a try um yeah, where did I put them though? A small yellow whatnot? Oil lamp, right? Uh, these are not important, I don't think so. Oh, there you are. Magnesium torch. Let's see where I leave that. Um, maybe I should do it like that. And if I can find those potions again. Oh, the small. Oh, I didn't mean to drink one, but there we go. Now I know what it tastes like. Perfect. There we go. Now, okay, so there was, no there was nothing here. I just wanted to make sure. And it seems like it was a good idea to turn back because I was going to miss something. A hammer? Okay. I'm not a blacksmith, but you know what? It's never late for a career change. Dried meat and metal scrap. Uh, no, I want to take them. Hey, come here. I need you. Okay. So, I keep finding a lot of scrap. Whomever looted this place left a lot of stuff behind. You know what? I'm not going to miss a chance to get some nice bones. You never know when I'm going to need them. That's my philosophy. Pick everything up, because you never know. Alright. That about does it. Wait, is that a fellow I see over there? Could that be the guy who was uh, sitting over me? Uh, maybe I shouldn't shoot before I ask questions. Could be smarter that way. Maybe not safer, but you know, could be smarter. What the? Oh. <laughs> well, at least he didn't kill me. Come on, get up. Thanks, Brems. If you're gonna make a habit of attacking people without warning, you should get better at it. I heard you before you even left the ruins. You did? Someone tried to kill me. They stole my armor and my equipment. Then I find you here waiting to finish the job. First you attack me, then you accuse me of being a thief and a murderer? If I wanted you dead, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Trust me. You need to apologize. This man is correct. The, he's actually very much correct. I mean, yeah, whomever tried to kill me has nothing to do with whomever stole my gear, from what I've noticed so far. Prove you're not the thief, and I might trust you. Only facts matter, not words. <laughs> Trusting people quickly out here is as good a way to get killed as walking around without a decent weapon. Which means you just got very, very lucky. I can help you find a safe place and new equipment. If you stop trying to attack me. Why would you help me? That's my job. I look for people out here and help them reach Goliath. 
You'll be safe there. Safe? You could be some kind of slaver. What is it you really want? I want this war to be over. Until then, Goliath needs more people to survive, and people need a safe place to go. Well, a safer place than being out here on your own. But you're welcome to stay and risk being picked up by an ALB raiding party. Between them and the rot boars, you won't live long. Say, you didn't see anyone else up there in the ruins, did you? You're the first person I found this trip, and it would save me a trip up there to check. Well, there was somebody, probably the person who took my gear, and the bunch of assholes who shot me, but apart from that, nobody else. Well, not since I got up, at least. Are you scared of the Alps, though? Huh. You're scared of the Alps. Aren't you? They kill most people on sight, the lucky ones. If you're unlucky, you'll end up a slave or stripped down for Elix inside of one of their converters. But hey, enough talk. You need to decide what you're gonna do. I'm going back to Goliath, and you can come with me if you like. Safety, security, and you can find work to earn enough to buy equipment. If you want a chance to survive, it's the best offer you'll get. That's why I joined the Berserkers. Out here, drifting, and hoping to stay alive. I knew it was only a matter of time before my luck ran out. I know joining a faction doesn't appeal to everyone, but it gave me purpose. And what have you got to lose right now? Nothing from what I can see. Well, I guess I should be happy that he didn't take me for an Alp and then shoot me on sight as I expected. It is probably a good idea to band up and at least he could show me around. But I should be careful. I'll come with you, at least for now. I will come with you, but that doesn't mean I trust you. Trust is earned. That goes both ways. You'd better remember that. Every choice you make adds up in this world. The way you speak to people will determine your course in life. Just take a look at yourself. No armor, no weapons, no companions. You've not exactly succeeded in life, have you? Well, all that changes today. Whatever you've done before, your life can start again. A new beginning. When the next Alb raiding party comes down from the north looking for Elix, the people of Goliath will defend you. You won't see the inside of a converter with us to protect you. Instead, you'll get a chance to prove yourself. To join us. Why do you want to help me? Like I said, Goliath needs people. Warriors, cultivators, hunters, storekeepers. Whatever your skills, we can find a place for you. What about uh, handy thieves? <laughs> no, I suppose not. And you just take people in? And you just take people in? If you stay, you'll have to earn your place. But be you cleric, outlaw, or alb, that's true everywhere. Sure, you'll get given orders and you'll have to follow the law, but it's not like you have things easy out here. Look, we can keep talking, but at some point, you gotta decide. So, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna stay here, or come with me? You know what, you do sound pretty reasonable, but I don't think the Berserkers would be very happy to learn that I'm one of the Alps. Even though the Elix does seem to have left my system. Alright, so I'll trust you for now. Your actions and words seem to match. I will trust you. For now. <laughs> yes, well, I'll take that as a compliment. You won't regret it. Combat, magic... <laughs> sure. If those interest you, then the Berserkers offer training to people who join their ranks. We'll make a warrior of you. We should get going. This is Rotbor territory. You won't last long if a pack of them turn up here. Follow me to Goliath, and you can earn the Alexa to buy armor and supplies. Trust me, you'll need them. Uh, did you say a Rotbor? I did see one of them. Uh, back in that canyon. Oh. I'm glad I didn't uh, try to fight it. And you know what? I want to look for my uh, for the guy who took my armor. I think I still remember his face. I want to find the thief who took my armor. Well, for anything stolen near here recently, I would start with Ray. He's an outlaw I found out here a few days ago. Very jumpy. Definitely looking for something. Where do I find him? Huh. I don't know. He disappeared off to the northeast. I'm guessing he went back to Tavar. 
But, hey, I wouldn't rush after him. He's probably sold your armor by now. Right. Alright, well, at least I have a direction. Although, to be honest, I don't even know where northeast is right now. So, maybe I'll just stick with you for a while. I will come with you to Goliath. Lead the way. Then follow me. And if we lose each other for any reason, you'll find Goliath to the east, at the foot of the mountain. Just look for the light from our mana shrine. You can see that from a good distance away. Oh, and the name's Durus. Pleased to meet you. Just lead the way. Very well. And keep up. Keep your eyes open. We're entering the hunting grounds of some of the local wildlife. Oh. Okay. And neither of us want to end up as rot boar food. Uh, uh, hold on a second. Okay, so I should be careful about using my stamina. Let's go. I have found that already by fighting those rats. Uh, hey, mister, what is your policy, you know, about, you know, looking around, acquiring things, clever goods acquisition? Moving. Nah. Okay, so I do have a compass, so I, I can tell which way is east and northeast, which is great. So Goliath is supposed to be to the east at the base of the mountain, he said. Are you ready to go on? Uh, not really, but you are kind of rushing, and I don't like that. How about we take our sweet time and look around first? That is my policy. Let's go. Okay. Watch your step. I've never come through this area once without getting attacked. Great. You know what? If we do get attacked, <laughs> I know which way I came from. If it's so dangerous, why do you come out here? Magellan almost died when the comet hit. A living, breathing planet turned to ash and dust. But the Berserkers are using their magic to bring our world back to life. Just look around you. Edan is the greenest place on Magellan. They need more people. And they offer anyone who comes the same chance to start over. We should move on. One downside of all this plant life is that you can't see the rot boards coming. <laughs> okay. I suppose let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right. Then follow me. Well, good old comets, the givers and takers of life. Are you life. ready to go on? We should get moving. Well, to be honest, seeing all this greenery is not bad at all. It's kind of pleasant even. But, you know, greenery isn't everything, man. What about equipment? What about pew pew lasers? Like the one I got shot with. Are you ready to go on? Are you going to keep asking me that? Can't you see I'm busy doing what every reasonable and responsible person should be doing? You know? <laughs> Acquiescing a lot of very useful items for later, I'm sure. We should get moving. Alright. Well, I don't want to fight any of those rot boars you mentioned. What are the ruins over there? Remnants of the old world. A reminder that the past can be left behind. Uh, okay. Well, sure. No time for a history lesson, but can we find something useful there? Can we find anything useful there? Maybe. Maybe. A group of clerics came through this area a few days ago. A scouting party reconnoitering Goliath. Well, that was their plan. Instead, they ran into a group of rot boars. Got chased into those ruins and haven't come out. Mm. So I'm guessing you then try to help them or something. Maybe they're alive. Haven't you checked? Checked on the enemy? Yes, well, maybe you're right. We're all allies in the fight against the Alps. But those ruins are dangerous. The rot boars might still be there. Why haven't you joined a faction? Man, I just, you know, got here, let's say. You're being so pushy about this faction thing. I don't know. What about the other factions? Maybe I should join the outlaws. Huh. They might call themselves the kings of the desert. But they're just hanging on to survival like the rest of us. And that survival comes at the cost of anyone around them. Even their own kind. Yeah, that sounds kind of scummy. What about the other ones? 
Why did you choose to join the Berserkers and not the Clerics? The Clerics followed the god Kalan, who tells them technology will save us all. I don't believe in gods, and I don't think boxes of cables hold all the answers. I don't believe in gods either, but boxes of cables and technology sound pretty good to me. Maybe I should join the Alps. <laughs> you don't join the Alps. You're born one, or they choose you. That means most people are taken, rejected, and killed horrifically. The survivors are turned into mindless addicts. They might once have been free people like you and me, but Elix has turned them all into emotionless killing machines. Go to Zaykor if you want, but all that will await you is misery and death. Yeah, I think I got a chance at a fresh start. I'm not looking to join Alps anymore. Alps. No, okay. Well, that's all I wanted to know. I have no interest in factions. I cannot decide whether to join a faction out here. Let's go on. Well, we have a choice to make. You're short of equipment. I am. We could see if the clerics have left any in the ruins. Sounds like a good idea. You want us to go into the ruins? That's up to you. But there's a risk to that. So maybe we should just head straight for Goliath. I better warn you that the creatures in there won't take prisoners. It would definitely be safer to bypass them for now. So, what do you think? Shall we risk entering the ruins? Fuck yeah, we should. We should. Let's go into the ruins. It looks capable. A brave choice. Opportunities are there to be seized. Okay. Well, I did gain some this experience in the meantime. Um... I don't really know what I'm going for, to be honest. Strength represents your physical power, it increases melee damage and unlocks items and abilities. That's not such a bad thing. Constitution, uh, which is toughness, and it describes my physical conditioning. It permanently increases life energy and unlocks items and abilities. That sounds familiar. Dexterity increases range damage and unlocks new abilities and items. Wow, I kind of said that before. Uh, depending on your faction, increases increasing intelligence permanently increases mana, PSI power, and I'm not going to say what it does again. Cunning inc increases influences social skills and unlocks certain abilities. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think I will decide later. Maybe it's all right. Are you ready to go that. on? Okay, mister. I am totally relying on you, Let's by go. the way. Oh! I'll get this one. Is that a rat? Oh! Whoa, this one is actually attacking, man. Whoa! Mister, you are amazing! What? <laughs> I barely put a dent in this guy. You just one shot to go him. On? You know what? Exploring these ruins with you was a brilliant idea. I'm just going to let you go ahead while I'm, you know, watching your back exactly. That's what I'm going to do. Let's go. Um, wait, are we actually exploring these ruins or are you just going to rush everywhere? Because if it's the latter, I'm not sure I like that. You know. Torches, may, they may not be very fancy, but you never know. Mutants leave. I wonder we what all these plants do. That's enough now. All right. Is this? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I brought four. Oh yeah, I got him. I... You cheeky devil! You just uh, got him before I did. Exactly. I was going to get him. A teleporter. All right. That's useful. I Looks see a bunch like someone used this as a camp before now. Maybe I could use it. This place will come in handy. That sounds like a wonderful idea. But um, I saw a bunch of crates here. Which apparently cannot be opened. And there is blood everywhere. Which is not a good sign, typically speaking. Oh, is that a rod bore? 
I don't know, but it looks dangerous. Time to head the other way. Alright, cool. I think I got everything. I'm sorry to keep you waiting all the time, but... <laughs> you know, maybe I should check this way too. Sulfur Nugget. Uh, hey, Duress. I don't know how to tell you, but I hear some growling, and I think it's coming from inside. I can go up that ladder, but it's not very interesting right now. Metal scrap. Oh! Oh, oh! As long as it's not coming for me. Ooh, I got a hit in, and it barely did anything. Okay, so... You try to get its attention. <laughs> and I'll be here to support you morally. Oh, shh! Ooh, damn. Hey, I found the rusty axe. Awesome. Anything I can do to get rid of this stick I'm trying to pretend is a weapon. Okay. Well. Uh, yeah, damn it. It's not actually that much better, to be honest. But I suppose, yeah, it's better than a little bit better. Hey, a backpack. More toilet paper. Why is there so much toilet paper around? You'd think that somebody took it before now. Ah, and a and a an actual newspaper. I can use that for toilet paper too. Okay. Uh elixir. You did say that I was going to need that for trading, so I should probably get loads of these. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Very important. I saved your life, Duris. You know, rats are carriers of diseases. You never know when one's going to bite your ass. <laughs> I contribute, alright? I, I pay my due. Uh, are we going to check down there, do you think? Hopefully you're not expecting me to go down there alone. No, sir. But I am very curious. I'm a curious person, so... I may or may not risk going down there. Whoa! Dude! Duras, is that you? Oh no, it's a dead cleric! We came here to look for these guys. I guess we're too late. And where are you, by the way? Ho! Oh. Whoa, what the hell, dude? I hear growling. I hear growl- Oh, no. Yep, I do hear growling. It's one of those. Uh, Duras, did you come up here? I made a friend. He is looking to bite me in the ass. Hey, man. We should probably stick together. These ruins look like they were some sort of machine shop in the old world. You know about the old world. Only what I've learned on my travels. Ruins and wreckage. The old world is irrelevant. Irrelevant? It's where we all came from. The Berserkers want to grow the world back to what it was. The other factions pick through its bones, hoping to find the technology it left us. Uh, I think my ideology aligns more with picking everything that's left and just moving forward, you know? Try to build a better world than the previous one, so maybe we can destroy some comets next time. Okay, so we got a energy drink. And a little bit of metal energy reserve. Uh, mental energy. Okay. I don't know what I need that for. Alright. So we came here to rescue these clary guys. But apparently they're all dead. Huh, that's unfortunate. Maybe we could have asked them for information. That is always good. I think I hear a radio. Oh, turn that shit off. Maybe it attracts those uh, rot boars. Uh, here's another of these get dead, dead guys. Cleric prayer book. You did say they were praying to the god Kalan, I think you said. Okay, let's see what that is all about. If I can find it. Uh, man, where would I look for a prayer book? I have no idea. 
I have really no idea. Oh! Kalan, you ask our devotion to knowledge that we preserve technology. Technology sounds good and awesome. We spread your message throughout the land. Convert the non-believers in your great name. Kalan, we will follow your path until the day of salvation. Ugh, this sounds like a load of rubbish. Remaining pure in thought until the day we meet. Bah. Sounds like uh, some propaganda stuff. But technology is very useful. We should probably see if these guys have some cool weapons or whatnot. Wait, that boar was coming from around the corner, right? Oh, there it is. My little friend. Oh! And I just called it! <laughs> there we go, perfect. Cleric weapon. Let's see. Alright. Time to get rid of these uh, primitive weapons. Uncivilized weapons. Okay, so apparently it does good damage. Better than anything else I have. Question is, what sort of ammo is it going to need? Oh man, I am definitely not good enough to equip this. Or use it. Yeah. Unfortunate. Okay. I don't think I found all the, cler uh, the clerics. I think I only found three of them, right? Um... I don't know. Wait, can I possibly put in? Yo, yeah, nice. All right, cool. No! Whoa, boy! That scared the bejesus out of me. That scared the clan out of me. <laughs> no offense to people who like clan, I suppose. Well, maybe Kalan is uh, the real thing, and he's kind of cool. I don't know. I should reserve my judgment. Man, this jetpack is amazing, though. This is super useful. I knew it was going to come in handy to just uh, improve my acquisition of clever goods. There we go. More torches. Awesome. I have, like, so many torches up, to, up at this point. And uh, cigarettes. Okay, so not much... Oh, locked. Yeah, I don't know much about picking locks, but I think I should make a priority in finding out. There was something hanging there. Yeah, like some sort of a book. Four Horses, part two. And where would part one be? Right, now I can finally get the bird's view of this place. Now, okay, so let's see, where are we? We're kind of in the center, I suppose. Uh, he did say that the Berserker camp was somewhere in the east. And that whomever salvaged, scavenged, or stole my gear was in the northwest. Uh, no, no northeast, right that way. Okay, I just see kind of like a lookout tower over there. And maybe, oh, oh, there we go. All right, cool. So now I know where the berserker camp is. Not really looking to join the berserkers, but it's very useful to know where potentially people who want to kill me are. If they find out that I was an Alp, Alp, not Alp, Alp, with a B. Alright. I have no idea what that is. Looks like kind of a bridge or some towers of some sort. Whoa, this place is massive. It's going to take some time to explore. But, you know what I want to do? Yeah, boy. Haha. <laughs> Nice quiver had a bunch of arrows Now what if I tried Just a little bit 
to see if I can jump over there on that ledge. I mean, it could work, or I could break something more than my spleen. Oh, oh, I'm getting there. Damn nice. Superb. Alright, I'm getting a hang of this. Okay, we got mana. I don't think that's for me. I'm not the mana person. Torches! Torches everywhere! Oh, right, so this ladder that I noticed earlier. Okay, cool. Uh, Duress, where are you? Uh, you know what? Is it possible? Maybe. Just maybe that I can get up there too. Oh, right. It's more than possible. Damn, this is awesome. Man, this jetpack. I love it. Powerful healing plant. I've been picking up the normal stuff. All right. I get the feeling that once there is... Uh, and I part ways. I'll be needing all the healing plants and whatnots. Okay, let's see if I can make my entrance. Haha! <laughs> Superhero landing! There we go. Hey man. I only found a couple of them. Do you often find clerics in Edan? All the factions come here. For intel, for resources. We all take from each other. At least it's just rage from the clerics for now. There have been wars in the past. And it does seem like there are some clerics who want to repeat those mistakes and take us back into open warfare. Well, that is one man's opinion, I suppose. Let's go on to Goliath. Right. Follow me. You say there were Alps in this area. How long ago was that? The raider crashed a week ago. It's been quiet since then. Well... Apart from the scouting party on the edge of the forest, it feels like something serious is brewing up there in Zaycor. And that's bad news for us all. Wait, are you t are you telling me that I've been out for a week? Whoa. That explains why I'm so hungry. <laughs> Man, where are the rest of those clerics? I don't know. Maybe I found them all and I didn't pay attention. How many did you say there were going to be? We should get moving. Eh. I don't know. Maybe I'll figure it out on? later. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit confused. It's a lot to take in. Especially with all this talk about uh, people trying to kill me and whatnot. Oh, y yes, I noticed him. I was uh, saving him for you. I just thought that you needed the practice, you know? Awesome. <laughs> Why do the work myself when I can let the rest do it? Oh, another campsite. Cool. It looks like there are a lot of people adventuring around here, so it's not just me looking around. Yes, I know. Here I am. Wait, 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 wait. I did say there was a little bit of a basement, didn't I? Yes, I did. Maybe this is a good uh, opportunity to use one of these torches, even. Uh, gemstone, okay. This is a white gemstone, and I found a yellow one <coughs> earlier. Cool. Alright, so I, I was kind of expecting something shady to be down here, but this... There's yeah, nothing spectacular. Okay. I saw a poster of Kalan. Okay, so there's nothing more, I think. Yep, I know. I'm coming. I'm coming, mister. Meadow Herb. That's a new one. Oh, looks like you got uh, bored and... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can actually help you with this one. Uh, you know what? I need to practice a little bit here. Yep. 
Yeah, I, I was going to hit them. I I was mentally prepared for it, but you know what? Leave it to the professionals. Okay, runt critter, and what the hell is that chicken? We got chickens. Whoa, they're actually fighting each other. Whoa, they're, they are actually fighting each other. <laughs> okay, so it looks like uh, beasts don't only hate humans, but also themselves. Are you ready to go on? Mm, uh, maybe just wait a little bit, okay? <laughs> I'll get back to you on that one. Well, this is one muddy wa uh, water, river, whatnot. Let's go. All right, so I, I did see the camp from over my scouting spot over there. I'll help you. I think you're gonna have to help yourself even. Hey, man. I mean. This is all nice that you're escorting me and whatnot, but... Are you ready to go on? Yeah, I mean, this is just our first date. I, I'm not really interested in joining you right now. I see some people... Whoa, did I hear some growling? Yes. Whoa! Hey, hey, uh, my friend. Whoa! I'm not sure if these guys are coming for me or whatnot. Whoa! They are deaf! They are definitely coming for me. <coughs> Help. Thanks. Whoa. Whoa, he actually hit them as he was uh, charging. Nice. <coughs> I'm so going to die here. Alright, cool. I live to fight another day. Perfect. There are so many of them too. <laughs> yeah, I can see what you mean with that toilet paper here. <laughs> it makes perfect sense from where I'm sitting. Nice. Alright, well, now that you actually clear this place out, I am going to make sure that whomever those people are, aren't going to come after us. They kind of look badass, so I should stay away from them, though. Oh, Elixit, perfect. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm going to keep mispronouncing it only until somebody else pronounces it. So I can hear how it's done. Is there something here? Uh, oh, yes, of course. Of course. Elixit. Okay. <laughs> I am probably butchering that pronunciation. Alright. Well, uh, I was going to say that I was done, but I... Yeah, that would have been a lie. We need this damn thing, but these mutants are everywhere. There! There, you hear that? They're coming from above. Hey, you idiots! Move your asses and get them! She is probably talking about those rats Duras took out. Oh, another poster of uh, Kalan there. Damn, these people. They, they somehow managed to get into all of these ruins put their posters and somehow they were nice enough not to loot everything or maybe they did loot stuff they just couldn't carry it all who is this person? oh Ruby! I just heard her on the recording oh I'm sorry Ruby okay that's an outlaw I don't suppose any of these fellows are the ones who took my gear A hatchet. Is that any better than the, than the rusty axe? It is better, but 
Hell no, I can't equip that. Oh, baby. That's going to be the story of my life. Well, at least it's a good thing I came looking down here. Metal scrap. Come on now. Okay, I don't know about swimming. It may be dangerous. Okay. I'm going back maybe to where got bored and left me. That would have been bad. I'm coming. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> ah, it's just a broom. Okay. I am 100% convinced that I got everything there. We should get moving. Okay, make that 99 points. Let's six. go. <laughs> nice of you to wait for me, though. I appreciate it. Oh, okay, okay. I'll stop. I know. We should yeah. get moving. I can feel you give me the stink eye. I'll help you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, found another healing plant. You Let's know what? Go. This trip hasn't been so bad. I expected it uh, to be more dangerous than this, but you know what? You know what, Duras? Instead of me joining your camp, I think you should join me. And we'll go on a little adventure. Together. <laughs> I'm mostly going to use it to kill stuff, though. You should be able to make your way out alone from here. You can find supplies and get yourself back on your feet in Goliath. And then, the choice will be yours. So I can just leave whenever I want. You should try to get a better weapon and some armor before heading into the wastelands, but that's up to you. Have a look around our community. See what we can offer you. What happens if you find an alb here? They try and kill us, so we kill them. Except the Separatists. A group of Alves that has broken away from Zaykor. Maybe they could be allies. Alright, so you don't just kill Alves on sight. Perfect. Uh, that that's what I was afraid of. You think the Separatists will help you fight the Alves? Maybe these Separatists want to join the Free People. Maybe they're just another threat. But I'm sure that together, we can defeat the Alves. But for now... The Separatists are outnumbered, without friends and defiant. They're already finding life is hard out here if you haven't joined one of the factions. That makes them jumpy, so I'd be careful around them. They're suspicious of everyone. Well, we have reached Goliath, but this is only the start of your journey. Look for me once you've settled in. You'll find me up at Warlord Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath. All right. Well, this went far better than I expected, and what I expected was for me to get viciously murdered a lot. I did come close a couple of times, but overall, it was a pleasant, kind of fun little trip. I think I have a lot to explore, and I should probably go into Goliath and try to get a bearing of where I am and what this strange place is. Try to get some information about the Alps, and perhaps I can find somebody who can uh, join me on my little adventure here. Because going out alone, like I found out when they shot me, when they shot me ship dead, is that it's not the best idea. It's better to have somebody watching your back. So, into Goliath, I guess. And to finding new friends and friendships and that sort of thing. Yeah, awesome. <laughs>